Moving is never easy. Give us a roof over our head. Uh, we went out in the cold. Leaving a space that saved your life. It's the first place I got off the streets. Could be heart wrenching, but 55 year old Debbie Haskett yep, is ready. My heart's just, <laughs> just bumping. Haskett moved to Portland from Indiana in 2011 after her husband died of cancer. Finding work was hard and family couldn't afford to help. She spent five years on the streets of North Portland near this gravel lot. That is, until a doctor told her this lot was about to play host to an experimental village sanctioned by the city. 14 tiny homes, 14 women. Yeah, Debbie was the first to move in and Friday she moves on to her own apartment. Staff say it's poignant. We've seen you every single day yeah. the past six months mm -hmm. and it's it's really it's going to change. This village will not be the same no. without you Debbie. So this is my old suite. Jewel Ramirez also found refuge here. That was the, the best feeling I had. But now that refuge is meant for someone else because Ramirez last week found a place to call her own. Yes. Yes. Driving to her new apartment, we hear about her decade on the streets after fleeing an abusive husband. Am I got no front teeth? You know. Because of him? Yeah. He hit me in, in my mouth. During that time, Ramirez drank, but after six months in the Kenton Women's Village, your place is so cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The mother and grandmother is sober and home. Her one bedroom apartment giving her stability. Seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going, <laughs> I'm out and I'm up and at them. You know, I can't, I can't sleep in anymore. It gives me a, a plea. Um, a sense of empowerment. A sense of yeah, empowerment built bedroom. over six months. Photos show memories made while living in these tiny homes. Now nine women will make new ones in homes of their own. What are you most excited about? Having a better, better life after this. Yeah, that was an emotional day. So Catholic Charities, who runs the village, helps the women find housing subsidies and then monitors them for 18 months after they move out to make sure they can kind of handle that transition. And the Kenton Women's Village, by the way, is halfway into its one year pilot project after the next six months. Staff say its future right now is uncertain. Back to you.